early morning start. We thought we'd climb one of these peaks. I don't know where the crew is. There's Lisa. God knows where Sally is. Vicky! Hey. Vicky's down there somewhere. Let's do it. Where are you, Sal? Yeah. Sal's over there. Where are the other crew? Lisa, Vicky. There's the boat. We don't have much time. We've got to get to one of these peaks. Have a look, get back and go for a sail. We've got 70 miles to do today, so we can't dilly dally. Hello. We're a bit too fast for you, Vicky. No. It's all right. Okay, Bob Star. How nice is this? I don't know where the girls are. I think there's somewhere down there. I think two have given up. There's a quick run this morning because we've got to get sailing. We've got crew to pick up. Crew to drop off and crew to pick up. Never sailed to a deadline. It's alright, I've got two weeks up my sleeve. So it's not really a deadline. It's more like um, a grey slow line. Now here goes the supremely educated Vicky master of five languages about to stand at the very edge of this magnificent peak what profound thing shall she say holy crap. that's right holy crap how zen give us a classic greek pose greek yeah well that's more like queen nefertiti of egypt oh that's chris columbus geographically that's getting closer to greece <laughs> top stuff what words of wisdom do you have vicky on every top if you want to as long as you don't give up because the steeper the hill the better the view <laughs> did you die Ow. Ow. Oh, that hurt. the sacrifices Vicky makes for the vlog I just started filming and she fell over Way to go, Vicky. <laughs> Top job. Schadenfreuder. Go, Vicky, go. She's going faster than me. Good on her. Almost down. We've come really far. <laughs> yep. I feel pretty proud of myself. I got up there. All right. There's a the boat. Now i got to find my crew. Hey Vicky! God knows where they are. We made it down! Woohoo! We are the best! Now you're the best, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you! We're the best hill climbers ever. Yeah. She's the best because she's my editor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay, I found my crew. Captain, I have a little present for you. It's a... mm, it is little. <laughs> it's little, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to... F <laughs> Stop moving it around. I'm trying to focus <laughs> on it. Look at how beautiful it is. That is very pretty. It's a flower of love. Is it? Oh, I don't thank know you. if it is. There you go. All right, girls, let's haul. Got some breeze. Should be good sailing day. We better hurry up. I love crew. We're standing in front of the bar to pay up start and we're having our breakfast in the front of the boat with a jenniger and we are chick sailing and chick eating. Chick sailing. Could be any better. On today's program is tanning your white butt. Can we see your white butt? No. <laughs> I think I might have got a picture or two while she was doing the anchor. Just coming past Cape Bowling Green. We've only done half of the distance and I'm gonna pull in here. I'm feeling a bit tired and I might go kite surfing. And I also haven't stepped on uh, land here before so let's go check it out. It's good Southeast Anchorage. 
it's about I don't know 40 40 miles southeast of um, Townsville but I think those strong winds recently have put all the sand out wide because normally this is, should be deeper but I had waves peaking just back there I should be in like 10 meters of water here but I'm in well I was in five and a half which is a bit crazy but now it's getting deeper now so all good well it's the end of a long sailing day we're going to stop off at Cape Bowling Green but I changed my mind the cyclone wiped out the sandbank that I was used to and I didn't want to go kite surfing there <laughs> so we continued on so we're coming up to Magnetic Island, it's very boring, but we'll leave there early tomorrow morning and hopefully go to somewhere more interesting. The crew, the crew's been extremely helpful. <laughs> They've been watching videos and sleeping for most of the day, although Sal did come out to keep me company for the last hour. So good on <laughs> you, Sal. Well done. Mind you, she did that under duress. She said, oh, do I have to? Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. I'm going to turn off the light now because my uh, night vision is completely rooted and we're coming up on rocks. So, all things good, we'll be anchored in about 20 minutes. Good run though, 70 miles in, what, from 9.30, so... Probably average seven and a half, eight knots. Not too bad. Flying along. There's the Palm Island group. I just noticed a trawler behind Esk Island. I didn't even think it would be good protection. There's a strong wind warning out for this afternoon. But there's reefs around either side, so they're like wings. So next time I'm down here, I'll check that out. Because that looks really, really good. But we're headed off to a place called Orpheus, which is up here. Where we'll probably wait out the, the um, strong wind warning. We've got a few days up our sleeve. I think I'll go kite surfing. Don't tell the girls that. Hey crew, where are we? Orpheus Island. We're at Orpheus Island. There's the boat. We're gonna go have a look around. We're in a place called Little Pioneer Bay. Very, very comfortable. There's nice coral here too. Let's go walk to the other side though. See what's there. I lost the lovely ladies. Heaven forbid. I just wanted a bit of peace from all the talking. <laughs> no, that's not true. They're wonderful. Boy, can they talk up a storm. Far out. If my batteries ever go flat, I'll just whack a couple of electrodes in them. Batteries will be recharged in 20 minutes. Well, this is the windward side of Orpheus. As if I even needed to say that. You can see Palm Island right in the background. And that's Polaris in the distance. Supposed to be good fishing. But how nice is this? I don't know where the girls are. Oh well. You can always get more crew. You suck.